question number 3 draw the development of a right circular cone of base diameter 60 mm and height 64 mm resting upon its p on its base and insect moves from a point on its base perimeter to the diametrically opposite point on the same perimeter through the shortest path in all the curved surface mark the shortest path in the front and top views here the it's a circular cone dimensions are given this is 60 mm base diameter and height 64 mm resting upon its base upon hp an insect most from where most from a point on its base perimeter to the diametrically opposite point on the same perimeter to the shortest path along the curved surface not to the base it's moving along the curved surface not the shortest path in the front and top views so this is the question now let's see So this ant moves from a point on the base perimeter to the diametrically opposite point on the same perimeter through the curved surface. Again the path can be visualized. So, how this can be drawn? So, first you have to draw the uh, top view. It's a circle and a minimum 8 generators can be drawn at an angle 45 degree. So, A, B, A, O, B, O, C, O, D, O, E, O, F, O, G, O and H, O are the generators in the top view all those generators can be marked in the front view also by projecting from a b h c g d f etc we will draw all those generators in the front view now we have a formula for developing the lateral surface of the cone lateral surface means the face other than the base so now include angle the development data the development of the latter surface of a cone will be a sector so this is a sector so include angle angle can be found out using the formula 360 into r by rolling of the generator where r is the radius of the cone base of the cone and true length of the generator means the length of the right extreme generator or length of the left extreme generator here we have drawn we have found out this uh, include angle to be one approximately 152 degree now this sector has been drawn with a radius of the generator actual length of the generator and since the circle has been divided into eight equal parts this also can be divided into eight equal parts first you have to divide the 150 into 2 that is 76 degree each then 76 degree can be divided into 2 so that uh, 39 degree then 39 uh, 38 degree 38 degree again when we divide this included angle with the adjacent two lines will be 90 degree like that now um, it is moving from a corner uh, one, uh, one of the point on the base perimeter to the diametrically opposite point of the same perimeter that is a e yeah now join that straight path the shortest distance will be a straight path join a with the capital e always the points in the development will be 
indicated by capital letters now a2 is joined so this point is itself a dash itself now this point has to be found out in the b dash or dash generator for that you have to take a length of o a length from o to this point in the compass same has to be placed in the true length generator here and then that has to be horizontally moved to the corresponding generator b dash o dash uh, now you have to take this point is on oc generator then you have to take the real distance o to here this point I have to place it on the true length generator here then place it, uh, move horizontally to that point to c dash o dash generator now next point is this one you have to take on your compass the distance from this point to this point in your compass place it in the left extend generator here then that has to be horizontally moved to this point d dash o dash and finally e is the point that is e dash by a smooth curve join free hand sketch by a smooth curve can be drawn by using free hand sketch this is the this green line is the uh, front view of the path of the and uh, insect now the top view the top view the same has to be shown so a is nothing but this point itself e is nothing but this point itself now this point is on b dash or dash so that that can be simply drop to b o generator and this point is on do generator so it can be simply dropped to co do generator in the top view and uh, this point is on uh, ceo generator so that uh, the distance of this point from the axis of the point is this much so this much radius out from this axis to the outer generator that distance you have to take and uh, on your compass and uh, with this center the or center that measures radius you cut the generator oc at this point so that you are getting uh, five points so all those points can be joined by a smooth curve so that you are getting that path of the insect in the top view also so that the method can be uh, found out um, analyzed uh, or understood by drawing the drawing procedure so the front view is mostly drawn then we have to develop the lateral surface so this is the this arc length is the actual true length of the generator include rank is found out this include rank is 152 degree so this is a sector this sector gives the development of the lateral surface of cone then we have divided in 150 into two equal parts that is 76 degree each then 176 degree is divided into 39 degree 38 degree then again all those things will be divided and then finally you will get 8, eight parts because in the top view we have divided that into 8 equal parts now we have to connect the point uh, this point to this point that is straight line we have joined here now we have to take the distance from this to this this point that is taken it is around 58.85 that we will place here from this point to here we will place it is 58.8 so from there a horizontal line is taken then the second one 55.7 measured on this left extension generator horizontally moved to C then the last distance 58.3 taken on the generator mm. so all those points are joined you think this has smooth curve so this is the on the top view also this is dropped to here this is dropped to here then this point is also found out in the top view also we have to draw those points so the final solution is the kite drawing of the problem is this one